Welcome to this one minute barber video. My name is Michael Holm and in this video I'm going to show you how to cut the sides of your own hair using the up and down method. This gown came from Suprint and it all came out of this box which I'm using today. It's got everything that we need so let's do it. The only guard you're going to need is a number two. Now I'll just put my number two on here. Keep your lever up, you don't need to change that either. You need a big mirror and preferably another mirror behind you if you have one. So you want to work on two mirrors so that you can see the back of your head in the mirror. The basic method is going to be to take the clipper straight up the side of the head. Now, of course, because the head curves over, that means that the hair from the middle and from sort of like halfway up the curvature, it gets further away from the side of the head. So if you go straight up, it kind of gradually blends itself in and you're using the curvature of the head to do that. Let me show you how it's done. You're going to want to comb your fringe out of the way depending on what side it's on so we don't want to get that caught up in what we're doing so let's just move that i'm going to start on this side and i'll move it over to here i'm going to hold my mirror out in front of me so i can see what i'm doing starting with the clipper low down we're going to take strokes straight up So far so good, you can see I'm nearly finished on this side, I've just gone straight up, there's not much blending in it to do, but that'll be part of the down method. Remember this is up and down, so what blending in there is to do will be part of the down method. On the back again, it's that same method, straight up and when you hit the curvature, just carry on up the head. And then because I've called my fringe over this way, before I start on this side, I need to move it out of the way. That looks ridiculous with my fringe like that. Do you think I could carry off this look? I'll give it a miss. Round the back of the ear can be a little bit of a problem, so just try to go in at an angle low down there. So that's the up method, let's do the down method now and the down method is going to help us to blend it in. So on the side here we have this sort of maybe a density of hair where you're finding that it's not blending in. So what we're going to do is just using our number two again is flip it over and come down the way. So what's happening there is the hair is stacked, okay, it's lying flat but it's stacked on top of itself and what we're doing is we're just taking down the density of the stack. Imagine that. So this is a thinning method. It doesn't generally remove length. The important thing is to make sure that you're coming straight down, basically making a line for the side of your head and you're not starting in the middle of the head and coming down because that will take length off. We just want to catch this corner on the side here.
So the little trimmer, very easy. We're just gonna go around the very, very edges and just take all the little hairs off. We don't want to go inside the hairline when we do this. At the back of the neck, try to avoid going inside the hairline. It's a good idea to flip your clipper over and push it in so that you can see the blade pushing towards the hairline. Don't go beyond the hairline. I want to say a massive thank you to Suitprint who sent out this kit for me. It has everything you need in it. It has the little trimmers, the big clipper, it's USB charge and it can hold that charge for as long as 180 days if it's just sitting redundant. There's a gown in the box, there's combs, there's premium guards. Premium guards? Amazing. It really is an excellent kit for you to have at home. If you are in the market for new clippers and trimmers or a whole kit, there is a 10% discount code in the description of this video down below. I hope you found that cutting the sides tutorial useful. It's the up and down method. It's very simple. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not what you can get in the barber shop, but it is a very good and acceptable way to just neaten up the hair. I wouldn't go below a number two if I was you. Try and avoid that. Stick with a number two or above and you can't really go wrong. Listen, good luck. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can find me on Instagram at the one minute barber. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.